Hey y'all, it's Teresa with Lone Star Custom Quilts. Hey, today I want to show you what I'm working on um, on my long arm. I've got a king size quilt that I've pieced and now I'm um, working on the quilting on it. I'm using a pantograph, um, but what's cool about this quilt is that it's made with chenille. If you've not used chenille in anything, um, do it. It's crazy messy and you're gonna have fluff everywhere but it really adds some cool texture so I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the quilt so this is the chenille and it just has great texture to it and you can kind of see down the front of it as well but this is what I'm working on today the pantograph I'm using is from urban elements and I'll get the name of it in just a minute but um, while you're here, I'll do a little bit of quilting. And for those of you who have not watched any of my other videos, um, I created this method to do the pantographs from the front of my machine because I have no room in my space. Even the space I was in before, I didn't have room to get behind my machine. So I'll kind of give you a, a view. That's one wall and way over here is the other wall. So there's literally no space between for me to get back behind there. And don't ask me how I get out that door. <laughs> I don't, but uh, I can let my dog out. That's about it. Um, but what I've done is I have a, um, cat laser right here that I've Velcroed up here. I think in one of my previous videos, I may have had it taped, but I figured out Velcro works great because you can change the angle and, um, move it if you need to, to fit your pantograph. Um, this is just a little retractable little gadget that I got on Amazon to put my scissors on. But the um, pantograph, it's called Mountain Laurel. And I use the petite version always. Um, I have a Cunique 14 plus and I have a 10 foot frame. And so I don't have a whole lot of throat space anyway. Um, it's, four, it's 15 inches actually is what it is. But I have to use the small uh, petite version of the pantographs. And if you can see, I have the pantograph just clipped um, right here onto this foam. It's their foam sheets and I've cut them to fit the, uh, the pantograph sheets. And I usually print my own pantographs and then match them and tape them up together. Sometimes I get them um, by the roll, but usually I print them myself. Um, it's just faster that way. Usually when I need it, I need it now. I don't wanna wait for it. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you the chenille. It's really cool. Um, it comes by the yard. And um, if you haven't experienced chenille and you've experienced minky, it's about the same thing. I think chenille is probably uh, worse, way worse. But as far as the shedding and all of that. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show y'all today. Y'all have a great afternoon.